The Cardiovascular Center of Florida has physicians that are specifically trained to treat with what we call thromboembolic disorders. These are disorders that cause blood clots to form in the lower extremities um, and sometimes travel into the lungs. When that happens, what's called a pulmonary embolism, um, those treatments sometimes need to be emergent. We have treatment options from blood thinners, uh, which are both intravenous and oral, but also interventional procedures where we go in through some of the veins in the leg and go up into the lung arteries and actually dissolve or suck out the blood clot that's there. This can also be performed in the lower extremities when a deep venous thrombosis or blood clot in the lower extremities is found, often causing pain and swelling. Our physicians have uh, significant expertise and knowledge in how to treat these disorders uh, as well as follow up for what may uh, affect the heart long term from blood clots. Common symptoms in patients who have thromboembolic disorders, if this occurs in the legs, a deep venous thrombosis, they get pain, swelling, redness, and discomfort. In the lungs, it's a different symptom. A pulmonary embolism, which is a blood clot that goes to the lungs, will often cause shortness of breath, chest discomfort, and uh, sometimes even passing out. When we encompass someone who has a thromboembolic disorder, there's often a lot of things that need to be followed up on. Patients need to make sure they don't have some genetic abnormality, and they have to be treated long-term with blood thinners, which carry a risk of their own. The physicians at the Cardiovascular Center of Florida have expertise in managing both the medical and interventional aspects of thromboembolic disease. Patients who have deep venous thrombosis or blood clots in the legs will sometimes need a device placed in the inferior vena cava, which prevents the blood clots from traveling from the legs to the lungs, um, which can be often fatal. This device is put in through one of the leg veins and is a very easy device to place and remove in the future when no longer needed. This is usually reserved for patients who are unable to tolerate either short or long-term blood thinners. Recovery time for an inferior vena cava filter is quite quick. Um, because we go through a vein, not an artery, uh, the patients usually have to lay flat for a couple of hours and then can actually go home right after that.